Okay, Ashley, thank you. There were a lot of headlines coming out of Governor John Bell Edwards coronavirus briefing yesterday. The major headline is that Louisiana will not move into phase three this weekend as expected, and that's because of a rising trend in case numbers and hospitalizations here across the state. Joining us this morning to kind of break down some of these headlines and talk about where we are in this fight against the coronavirus, we have a Dr. Ronnie Whitfield, the hip hop doc. Always good to have you on the show with us. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thank you. I'm doing great. Absolutely. Good morning to you, too. We want to start with this uh, another fact that came out of that news briefing yesterday. For the first time since March, the age group that has the most number of cases in Louisiana is our, our younger age group, ages 18 to 29. We've also heard that that age group doesn't necessarily need to be hospitalized or they can really handle this virus uh, themselves. So what is the concern with this age group now being the prevalent number of cases? I think because, Jaren, they don't have a lot of symptoms. They could be either pre-symptomatic, having some mild symptoms, sore throat, cough, not a fever, chills, but feel totally fine, like a cold, or they can have be asymptomatic altogether, that they're, they're gathering in, in places and spreading it amongst each other. And then what do they do? They go back to their homes or to their families and friends, and they spread it to other individuals who, again, we talked about incubation period a long time ago. A long time ago. We don't even know the actual true incubation period. We thought it was 2 to 14 days. It could be a lot longer than that. So when these young people are infected with the virus and they have no symptoms, they spread to other folks. And so now we're seeing rises in numbers. And, and unfortunately, we are seeing a few uh, increase in hospitalizations across the state. And that's a little scary because the worst thing that we want is to have another total shutdown to slow our economy. And we know that by testing, contact tracing, and quarantining individuals who are infected with this virus, we can slow the spread of the other coronavirus. And so now we know that phase two will be extended an additional 28 days at least, now lasting through at least July 24th. So what needs to happen in phase two that may be a continuation of what was happening uh, earlier to make sure that we can actually move forward come July 24th? Well, I think from the governor's office, they're going to have a more hands-on approach. I think some of our uh, institutions are not truly following the rules of phase two. And so there are more people gathering that should have been gathering. And so we've got to, we've got to really enforce those, those rules. People have to wear the mask. We've got to use those same mitigation efforts that we've been talking about initially, masking up, hand washing, social distancing, avoiding a non-essential travel. And I think some folks, it just got very lax about it. Our numbers were going down. We weren't seeing as many deaths, which is, which is a great thing, but some, somebody said the other day on the news that, hey, man, I can't, uh, I, I wonder what's going to happen during phase two. We are not out of phase one yet, Jaren. So we've got to get through phase one. And when I mean phase one, phase one of the wave of this, this pandemic. And then once we get through that, hopefully by the time that the, the fall comes, we'll be able to handle what might happen if it happens at all. But we're not quite sure how the virus behaves yet. And so we've got to follow the rules and regulations that are being put upon us currently. I only have about 10 seconds left with you, but I do want to ask you the question. Do you think that we need a face mask requirement either across the state or locally uh, parish by parish? Uh, I, 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 I wear face masks. I think that face masks should be mandatory in certain settings. I do see people wearing face masks in their cars by themselves when they're out walking, when they're not close to anyone. Uh, so I think there just needs to be clarity on who, who and when and where we should wear a mask. I think there's a big confusion about that. And some folks just don't want to wear them at all. And again, wearing that face mask not only protects you, but it keeps you from spreading the virus to other folks. So it should be at least minimally mandatory if you're going to be out in environments where there are groups, large groups of people. Dr. Ronnie Whitfield, always great to have your insight with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have a look at your morning headlines coming up next.